guys, Coach Fuller here, and I want to welcome you to MHE Field Day at Home 2020. This is a fun at-home field day activities for the family. This is totally optional, but I know that we were all really sad about field day being canceled, so this is the next best thing. We've got some activities for you and your family that you can do at home. So in your classroom choice boards, or if you are in grades three through six in your Google Classroom, I will be posting this exact presentation into Google Classroom, and it is a slideshow that will be taking you through all of the different activities and have all of the instructions to participate in our optional field day. Um, it is officially on Friday, May 8th, but I know that people have uh, work and things going on, so you can do it anytime over that weekend. Um, it's for all MHE students, staff, and families, so we want to get moms and dads and little brothers and big brothers and little sisters all involved. And all of these activities can be done at your house with limited space and limited equipment. And the great thing is, is this is your field day. So I've got a list of activities, but you get to pick what you want to participate in and you can modify it however you would like. Um, why are we doing this? Well, I feel like field day is such an important part of our school year and we all look forward to it every year. And I just want to help our school and our students and our families just feel that sense of consistency and give everyone an opportunity to reconnect through um, this positive event. So um, I just think it's a great way to stay positive during this unfortunate time and um, a great way to connect with family and to get in some physical activity. So on May 8th or during that weekend, you and your family will select three um, activities. So there's a list right here, and I'll explain this here in a second. If you want to do all of them, great. If you just want to do three, that's okay. Remember, again, this is your field day. And I am encouraging everyone to collect their points on this sheet. So you get to do each activity twice and then total up your points. Again, this is optional, but um, this sheet, all you have to do is click here on the uh PowerPoint that you guys will get, and it will take you to this sheet that you can print out. You can write this down on paper if you don't have a printer, um, but you do not have to complete all of these activities. These are just all the ones that I have presented to you, uh, but this is a great, easy way to turn in your field day participation into me, okay? Now, um, when you are complete with field day, you can snap a picture of this sheet or snap a picture of your score um, and send that in to me at christina.fuller at rasd.org. Um, if you want to use your dojo and send me a picture through there because that's easier, you can. And if you're in three through six, you can actually just attach a picture to the Google Classroom assignment and turn it in. So I want you guys to just pick what, what method is easiest for you. But by turning something in, I will be sending you the official National Field Day Certificate Participation, just something cool to help you remember um, our at-home field day. Um, as always, I would love for you guys to share what you're doing at home. Um, our, our hashtags for social media for this event are National Field Day, M-H-E-P-E, M-H-E Together We Can, RASD Moves, and RASD Say Something. I have included my social media pages on there. If you guys are not connected with me, I encourage you to do so to get up-to-date um, information on field day, and I'll be sharing all the fun events that my family will be participating in, as well as other moving Mustangs. And again, I just want to remind you guys, this is not meant to be something overwhelming. This is completely optional. It's just a fun family activity to take the place of field day. So on the day of field day, you will open up this presentation and you will find that there are all of these activities and each activity has written instructions as well as a clickable video that you can click on to watch directions. So for example, if I want to play bowl ball with my family, that sounds fun. I can click on this video link and it's going to pull up a YouTube video and I can watch this one minute video, instructions on how to play. Hi, I'm Open National Trainer Chris Walker, and I'm gonna show you how to play bowl ball for National Field Day. All you need is a sock ball, six bowls, and something to mark six to eight feet away from the bowls. Your goal is to score as many points as you can 
Okay, so hopefully you guys will find this very user friendly. Like I said, you've got written instructions, you've got video instructions, and again, this is your field day. So if you come up with a better way uh, to play the game, or maybe you don't have one of the items suggested, but you have a, a better idea of something to use, go for it. I want you guys to just have fun, be moving, creating memories with your family. Um, all right, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions on our at-home field day, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm so excited to uh, see what you guys are doing. So don't forget to take pictures, take videos. You can send them to me or in, and share on social media. And um, I know it's not the same as being together, but let's create some new memories this year and uh, have fun at our uh, at-home Moss Haven field day 2020. Miss you guys, bye.